what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel it has been a minute um so let's go ahead and break this down for everybody so previously we purchased a 2013 mustang gt um bought it off some guy off marketplace on facebook and um i got it for a good deal um i had a lot of plans for it but just had that urge that I couldn't resist. And I got a couple buddies of mine who already have this type of car that have been growing on me. I hated the looks of this car. And, um, but after doing research, after seeing all these pictures and videos of the car, um, and after learning more about the car, um, I decided to go ahead and pull the trigger. So the 2013 Mustang GT is no longer, it's just no longer, it's gone. Um, I traded it in and bought something else, guys. Um, I went ahead and purchased a 2024, 2024 Mustang GT performance pack. That's right. Went ahead to the upgrade, told myself I wasn't gonna do it this early, but let me tell everybody right now, this is the best purchase I have done as far as a Mustang goes in a very long time. Um, it drives and rides like a Mach 1, even though this does not have Magna Ride. It is a performance pack, so it does have a little bit better suspension. Um, the looks of this vehicle are astonishing. It is absolutely what I've been wanting. And I just never thought I would pull the trigger. So I contacted my buddy, Colton, out of Gallatin, Tennessee. And he found a black Performance Back 2024 Mustang GT for me with all the options that I did want. And he actually had to do a dealer trade with somebody. And he went ahead and did that dealer trade for me. Um, he brought it to me. Um, unfortunately, I was sick for several weeks when they dropped it off and I couldn't do any content. So this will be the first video, full video of my 2024 Mustang GT performance pack. And um, I can't wait for everybody to see it. I have been excited. I have been holding this back for a month now and it's been a long time coming, even though it's only been a month. But anyways, here we go. Full reveal of my 2024 Mustang GT performance pack. Here we go. Let's go. Guys, this is my 2024 Mustang GT performance pack. And it is freaking amazing. What a beautiful machine. Ford has come a long way. Um, I did not like the taillights. And they are finally growing on me. Um, it's very different. But... I've grown to love it. Um, I'm not a black car fan because of how dirty they are and how they show everything, but black is the prettiest color once it is clean. I just got done washing the car. This will be the first wash as well. Uh, I just haven't had a chance to do anything because of work and I was sick for a couple weeks and I've had to hide this car for a month before I have shown everybody what I've gotten. So again, the 13 GT is gone. Sorry, everybody who wanted to see that build. I wanted that build to happen, but a lot of stuff we'll talk about later happened and I just got impatient. So welcome my 2024 GT performance pack. The interior is freaking amazing. These new seats are a little bit wider. They are so comfortable. Um, and I'm glad I went with these. These are the heated and cooled seats. We did the full dash. This is a 400A package car. Um, it does have the car charger, um, car play, wireless car play. It has the ambient lighting. And the cool feature about this is you can do the um, text color as well on the full screen.
And this does come with the 10 inch sub in the back for the B&O audio. Gotta love the pony lights as always. Gotta love this car. One thing I am gonna have to do, which I was gonna do it anyways, is get this car retinted as it did come pre-tinted from the dealer. And there is a huge boo-boo here and it's already peeling. So this tent's not dark enough as it is. So we are going to get this removed and go down to a 20% all the way around. And probably gonna do the windshield in a 50 full ceramic. But I'm absolutely in love with this car. It is freaking amazing. And I'm so glad I purchased that. Look how beautiful that is. <laughs> Man. 2024 Mustang GT Performance Pack S650. God, Ford, y'all did good. One of the other cool features is the welcoming on the lights. That welcome display is pretty gnarly. And if no one is familiar with the new remote rev, I will go ahead and do that for you guys right now. These cars sound amazing stock uh, and track mode is freaking crazy. Remote rev. God, that's stupid. The only thing I do wish that Ford did for these was doing the amber as your DRLs. That looks sick, especially on a black car. God, if Ford would have done this for the US cars, that would have been amazing. So that about wraps it up for the intro of my 2024 Mustang GT Performance Pack. Um, there will be more videos here soon. Um, I am going to do a POV driving on this car. Um, one of my favorite features that I'll go ahead and let you guys know, well, not features, but one of my favorite things about this car is how well it handles with the stock suspension. It compares to my 2022 Mach 1 and the mischievous purple that I did have before. Um, that was all stock suspension. And this rides actually very similar, if not better. Um, and what I was told is it does have a little bit of the Mach 1 suspension um, on the performance pack cars. And if I'm not mistaken, someone mentioned that there is something from the GT500 on the suspension for these cars. Um, it handles very well straight. You can do corners in this thing at 80 miles an hour and it handles it perfectly. It is getting a little bit dark outside and it is cold. Yesterday was 65 degrees, today 28 to 35. Um, so I am a little chilly at the moment. Um, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up for you guys. I cannot wait to show you more content. Uh, we will be releasing another video here soon in the next few days. Um, and I was supposed to be somewhere next week, but that's not gonna happen thanks to my work schedule and i am very 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 disappointed a good buddy of mine colton who sold me this car just bought a mustang off of a very famous mustang youtuber actually um this car has been around for a while it's been through a lot and everybody knows this car it is stupid stupid fast on the new setup and there's some reasons behind that, but I'm not going to put anything out there because the owner of that car has not talked about it yet. So we're going to go ahead and end this video right here before I keep talking and um, show you a few clips of the Mustang. And y'all have a good weekend.